last hour, we chose the news. Now it's time for the leftovers. I love leftovers. Fittingly, John is in the kitchen. Hey, dads. Oh, hey, what can I get you? Just <laughs> in here. It's like you're in uh, Cheers right now. Yeah, I can't see if I'm on camera or not. I don't know if that joke landed. <laughs> I just noticed there were schmutz on the uh, lens. Okay, yeah, so these are the stories you did not choose yep. uh, last hour because we let nothing go to waste here. We're all about leftovers. Can't afford to. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do you remember uh, when I gave you the choice of spy games? Remember yes. spy games was, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was one of the options? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, a suspected Chinese spy has been released after spending months in custody. After a thorough investigation, authorities in India determined that the suspect was a bigger threat to French fries than national security. <laughs> what? Here's where I should tell you that the spy is a pigeon. Oh, you know, they like to sweep down and get your yeah. fries, you know, yeah. uh, according to telegraphindia.com, the bird was <laughs> caught last May. It had rings on its legs and messages written in, quote, Chinese like script huh. under its uh, wings. Uh, if that doesn't say spy, I don't know what does. <laughs> it's not like spies, you know, spy birds wear tuxedos and drink yeah. martinis. Yeah. <laughs> How do you expect me to survive? Yeah. I James. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> uh, the bird was kept at a veterinary <laughs> hospital for. <laughs> ah, you know, here's the thing. They've been trying forever to find somebody to take over for Bond after uh, <laughs> what's his face, Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just go out to Central Park and get a pigeon. Get you a pigeon. Uh, the bird was kept at a veterinary hospital for eight months while police investigated. How'd Interrogated. You like, how'd you, how would you like to be the detective assigned to that case? Oh my gosh. Uh, they finally determined that the uh, pigeon was part of a pigeon race in Taiwan and flew off course and ended up in India. Now, here's ah. the thing. I went to Google Maps. That's 3,000 miles away. Do pigeons fly that? So now I'm starting to believe the pigeon spy story. Oh, oh. Uh, by the way, after that, the bird was released, and according to the Independent, the charges were dropped. Who were the you charge? You charge the pigeon? <laughs> Come on, people. What are you gonna have a court case? <laughs> so ridiculous. It's on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Julian said a jury of their peers. An osprey. There's just a flock of pigeons in there. Seagull. <laughs> Poop all over the courtroom. Parakeet. All right, guys. Remember when I gave you all about that base? Yes. All about that base? Yes. Uh, people in a Tampa suburb have been complaining about a rumbling bass, kind of low tone sound that's keeping them up at night. Huh. Now scientists say they may have figured it out. It may have been fish doing the hibbity dibbity. Listen to this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that is a black <laughs> drum fish. According to the National Aquarium, what? they make that noise by squeezing their swim bladder. Apparently, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, squeezing the slow swim bladder. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a euphemism <laughs> for <laughs> uh, Apparently, uh, winter nights are when they like to, uh, huh. oh. you know, so well, now it's, it's prime cold. time. Uh, for years now, people in South Tampa have been trying to figure out What's been causing the rumbling they hear at night? Uh, uh. Scientists who lives in the area put two and two together and hypothesized it may be the fish. He has now raised more than $2,500 in a GoFundMe to test out his theory. Interesting. It's the black drum. All about that bass. I don't know. I feel like making up a uh, just something random like that too mm. and get my neighbors to donate to a GoFundMe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like the sounds of two black drum fish. <laughs> All right, remember uh, when I gave you didn't Always see it coming? Far. Yes, Didn't yes. see it coming? Yes. Well, uh, you may want to think twice before you order from one Pizza Hut location in Canada. Okay. Uh, they posted a sign saying the dining room was closed due to unforeseen circumcisions. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I mean, you think, you think a circumcision is bad. What about just a surprise one? <laughs> I guess for babies, they are a surprise. <laughs>
true. I guess I guess they kind of all are. All right, uh, they posted the sign there. Uh, the picture of the typo has been viewed more than 64,000 times on Twitter. One person commented no, 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 because they didn't have the staffing. I guess they had to make cuts. <laughs> It gets better, though, realizing their mistake. The restaurant put up a new sign oh, saying, in light of the circumstances, uh -huh. they're offering a special deal. You can get a medium meat lovers, pepperoni lovers, See. or Canadian for just $5. No tip required. <laughs> <laughs>